Top 7 Flutter Animations This one is called the Animated Size and you will see the animation on the image when we will change the page. Now let's see how it looks with and without this animation. I will show you how to do this with the code. Inside the center widget, you can add the animation size. And before we continue, you will need to make sure to add the ticker provider state mixin inside your class. Now you will be able to use the vsync this. After, we can use a duration of one second by example, and we can add a container inside the child. The container will need to have a height of double.infinity, that means take all the place as you can, and then the child inside will have an image.network with the URL and an argument fit that will have the boxfit.cover to make sure that the image take all the remaining place. And with all this, you will have your animated size. The next one is the animated positioned. And with this one, as the name said, you can animate the position of a widget. So I will show you how to create this bottom app bar. First, you will need to have the animated positioned. After, we will need to tell Flutter what is the current top position. As you can see on this animation, it is now at zero, and now it is at a certain value. And we will need to do the same thing for the bottom position of the widget. So as you can see at this position, the bottom is equal to zero. And then we can add the duration of the animation. After, we will add the curve. For this one, we use the fast out slow in, and it look just like this. For the child, we will use a gesture detector. Inside, we will have an untap function that will change the position top and bottom of the widget. And after, we will have inside this gesture detector a custom bottom app bar, and it look just like this. The next animation, it is one of the easiest to create and one of my favorite. It is called the animated default text style. And before I show you how to do it, I want to tell you that I will select the seven best comments from this video to appear inside the next one, like Jordan and Dan. Thank you so much, and let's dive into the code of the animation. For this one, we will use a gesture detector with the onTap function that will trigger the change of the text style. Inside, we will have a center with the animated default text style. And inside this one, we will have the child text and the style that will change every time we click on it. And finally, we add the duration, which is once again. With this super simple code, you will have an animation that will change the style of any text. As I told you, it is one of my favorite animation. The next one will be the animated container. And for this example, we added an image inside the container. To build this animation, we started with a wrap widget. Inside, we have used the alignment.start, and then we have used inside the children, the animated container. We added the onEnd function that will be triggered at the end of the animation in order to make appear or disappear the text. After we created two functions in order to change the width and the height of this container. The duration was set to one second, and then for the curve, we used the curve.easeout quart. And this is what the curve looked like. The last thing required was the child image.network with the URL and the boxfit.cover. And for the example that will follow, we also added a text inside the children of the wrap. And this is the final example of the animated container. The code is available in the description and you will receive an email with all the animations. For the next animation, it is a very simple one. It is called the animated align and it looks just like this. First of all, you will need to have the alignment. For this one, we have created a function that will select the current alignment and we have used a duration of one second. For the curve, it will be a fast out slow in like we did previously. And for the child, we use the gesture detector with the untap function that will change the alignment. And finally, we have used a profile picture inside the child of the gesture detector. 
And for this example, the alignment of the profile picture is currently on the center. And when we press on it, the alignment will be on the left. Now let's talk about the animated builder. Let's take the example of Instagram stories. You could be able to animate the red circle around a profile picture. So let me show you how we can create this. If you receive any value so far, and you will like to see the part two of this video, you can like and I will do it. For the next animation, be ready because it is the most complicated one. First of all, we will need to start with the animated builder. Inside this one, we will give a controller for the animation and I will show you how to create the controller later. Next, for the child, I have used the circle color, which is the circle with the text inside. After, we will need to add the builder that will return the transform.rotate. For the angle, we have used the controller value times two times pi. And the child came from the animated builder child, which is the circle color. It is now time to show you how we can create this controller. And we do it by using the animation controller with a duration of two seconds. After, we need to add the vsync this. And if you remember, we need to add the with ticker provider state mixin. At the end of this animation controller, we add the repeat function to make sure that the circle will turn forever. And the last step of this animation is to create a dispose method that will dispose the controller. This animation is the animated opacity. And we can use the Instagram example once again to show you how it worked. So when we click on the profile picture, the red circle will disappear slowly. For this one, we use the animated opacity with an opacity that have a variable opacity level. The duration of this animation will be two seconds. And inside the child, we have used the gesture detector with the untap function that will trigger the opacity level. And the child of this gesture detector is the Flutter logo. If you think you have received a lot of value so far, then I highly suggest you to watch this video next. It is one of the best that we have created. See you on the next one. Peace.